see friends this is re decayed resistance box in this there are five knobs and a fuse this is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal and this is a ground if for everyone there are 10 intervals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 for every knob there are 10 intervals there are five knobs 1 2 3 4 5 in the first knob we can vary into 10 means everyone are in 20 if you want 20 ohms we can move this knob to 2 if we want 50 ohms we should move this knob to 5 this is about into 10 ohms of the first knob after the second knob if they want 200 ohms we should move this knob to 2 they want if 700 knobs we should move this knob to 7 then we will get 700 ohms this is the use of the second knob and the third knob if we want 5k we should move this to 5 if we want 7k we should move this knob to 7 this is the use of the third knob and the fourth knob is into 10k if we want 20k we should move this knob on 2 if we want 50k we should move this knob to 5 this is the use of the fourth knob next 50 knob means into 100 we should, if we want 100 ohm 100k 100 kilo ohms we should move this knob to 1 if you want 500 kilo ohms, you should move this knob to 5. We should, we should, these knobs are very delicate. We should use this knob very slightly and slowly. If, if a heavy resistance, this is a fuse. We can see this fuse. If the voltage will be increased to maximum, then the fuse will be, the fuse will be burnt. This is a fuse. In this fuse, we can see a thin copper line. See this is a fuse if heavy voltage is occurs then the fuse will be burnt this is a positive this is a negative and this is a ground if we take 635.72 kilo ohms then we should take in 100 kilo ohms we should take 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 in 10 kilo ohms we should take 3 1 2 3 in 1 kilo ohms we should take 5 1 2 3 4 5 in 100 kilo ohms we should 100 ohms we should take 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in 10 kilo ohms we should take 2 1 2 then we can vary that 635.72 kilo ohms this is about the resistance box